the idea of vulnerability is not an idea about marginal poor people who happen to have been left behind from development. Vulnerability is not also about some kinds of a climate stress that comes out of the sky. Vulnerability is on the ground, it's produced locally, but it is embedded in a larger social and political economic structure. And the example that I uh, gave this afternoon was that in Senegal, for example, you have rural people who depend on the land. They are peanut farmers and millet farmers. They also produce charcoal, and they sell that to merchants who take it into the cities and sell it in other parts of the country. Those people go hungry during droughts. Those same people, many, many years ago in the 1800s, had to sell children off to survive during these droughts. In the last century, there were several periods in which they had to sell cattle off in order to survive, leaving themselves more destitute than before. But in fact, this vulnerability did not and does not come from them not being productive. They're very productive. They're very productive, but they get very low prices for their goods. They produce charcoal, and at the edge of the forest they sell it for $2 a sack. Merchants come along and buy it and sell it for 12 to $20 a sack in the city, and it costs $3 to bring it there. A merchant can make upward of twenty, forty, fifty thousand dollars. Some of the big ones, five hundred thousand U.S. dollars a year. While these rural producers make only three hundred to six hundred dollars a year. Now, their vulnerability that comes from their poverty is not produced by climate variability or climate change. It's produced by the political economic system in which they are embedded. And that system, where merchants can come and buy their products at very low prices, is supported by the Ministry of Agriculture, the Ministry of Forestry, the forestry laws, licenses, permits, and quotas that prevent these people from entering the markets and allow a small group of elite merchants to control the market. So, if you think that vulnerability is about climate stress, think again. The question is really, why is it that these rural farmers and rural forest users remain so poor when they in fact produce so much?